Okay, guys, welcome to sip comes So you need to sip something. Okay. All right. Today we are going to install server 2022. Okay. Go to files, new virtual machine, typical. Next, those of you who don't know how to install uh, the VM workstation, check out on my previous videos. I have videos on how to install VM workstation. All right. Okay, so I'm going to select server 2019 okay because that's the highest so far in the list okay i don't have any other in the list so i'm going to select that so i'll go for next so um here i'm going to give it a name so s rv 2022 i think zero two I already have one here so I'm going to install the two okay so next I'll select this okay next and then finish so I've created my machine right so let me do some editing here all right so uh, with the RAM I can increase based on my physical RAM or I can maintain the 2 gig processor you can see number of processors 2 number of core 1 but physically I have only one processor number of cores I will assign maybe 2 to this so I'm going to house go forward ok right so the next thing I have to load my image here so I'll click on the cd dvd so i'm going for use image if i have it uh, on a pen drive then that means i only leave it here and then slot my pen drive then automatically it's going to detect my pen drive right so this i'm going to use an image so i'll use this now browse to where my image is right you can see i've already installed one so i'm going to install the second one so um, 64 so i select this so okay so now i'll power up my virtual machine okay press any key so i have to select my language i'll go in for english okay great so you can see i have all the flavors uh, in here right so if i want to establish a jury stack so i'll install that but this i'm going to install um the server 2016 data center okay now we have the server core installation and then we have the full installation server core means we are going to have a, a, a cmd environment or cli that's command line interface okay and then the full installation means you are going to have a GUI interface that's the graphical user interface so like the core data center you can see so whichever flavor I want I'm going to select that so I'm going to install data center full so next so our accept license and agreement next and then custom okay this is for upgrade okay if i already have maybe server 2019 okay installed and i want to upgrade then i'll select that but this i'm doing a new installation so i'll go in for custom 
so my drive is selected i don't have anything on it so i just go for next but if i want to partition i can click on new and then specify the amount of space i want to give to my c and then my d so i can apply the size right so let's do that so let's say i want um, uh, 30 gig for my c and then 30 gig for my uh, d so i just put here put here 30 gig so that's 30,000. so apply okay so you can see now i have uh, this primary for my operating system and i have what's an allocated one so i can go for apply for this so now i have two partition right that my operating system will be here and this will be empty for other purpose so if you have enough big space then you cannot actually partition it this way but if you don't want to partition okay you can still install it straight ahead so let me delay these partitions and then install it fully on the entire hard drive that i have so i delete this good so i'm going to use the entire hard drive for the installation so next okay so this is going to take uh, a little time to install so we'll uh, i'm going to pause the video for some time uh, and then when it gets to the advantage point i'll come back and then we'll see how to look at the initial setup for the server 2022 so for this aspect you just say remind me later we'll see how to install these two here okay remind me later so i'm going to pause the video when it's done then we'll come back to the server 2022 when it's ready So you can see installation progress okay is almost uh, half of the installation so we'll look at we'll come back to it once more I'm going to pause it once more and then come back to it right okay so as we can see it's almost done okay allow it to restart by itself so i can click here to restart now So you can see it's time to enter the product key so if you have your product key then you can uh, input your product key here I don't have one so I'll go in forward do this later so here is my administrator's password so I need to enter my password here so
okay so it doesn't match so i need to retype my admin password okay so this time around is done so all i have to do is control delay so i'll click on this very button so now i have to log in to my fresh installed server 2020 whoa okay right okay because my workstation is connected to NAT, so uh, it's trying to uh, pick internet from my uh, physical uh, device here my physical laptop so this i'll go for close so now you can see the resolution of my server here is boxed into uh, uh, a small space so if i need it to expand to the full length i need to install the vm tools okay so i'm going to close this and then click on windows and then install vm tools now vm tools also helps you to copy stuff from your desktop to your vm and your vm towards your desktop or your host to your guests so your guest is the vm workstation that's your vmware and then the host is your physical machine your real machine now you can see this has pop up so i need to um, install So next, next, install. So guys, as you can see, my resolution has changed. So it has stretched for to fit in so i'm going to restart this vm workstation okay so i have to log in once more okay so i'm going to click this and then don't show this again now you can see every time i restart uh, this uh, server manager pop up if you don't want it to be popping up when you restart you just go for manage and then what manage server manager property so you can see here do not start up do not start the server manager automatically at logon so when i take this and i go for ok if we should restart right now this server manager is not going to pop up so let me just restart this for us to see power restart okay so for server you need to give it a reason why you are restarting or shut it down so i have to just um, select something and then click continue ok 
Okay, let me log in. Alright, so if you see right now the server manager did not pop up as it has restarted. So this is how you can turn it off. You can still go to start see server manager and then you can let it what launch okay when the server manager launches we want to look at some of the uh, roles and features okay so go for add roles and features next 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 so these are the roles and features that you have in server 2022 okay it's not different from server 2019 and server 2016 uh, yep it's not different maybe one or two roles will be different from server 2008 right and then 2012 okay so let me go for next here are the other features okay when you come down you can see all the features that come with server 2022 okay also line up beautifully okay you can see that so this i'm not installing any rule okay but i'll be creating a series on server 2022 so watch out now the initial thing for you to do is go to local server so you can see a computer name you need to change your server's name okay to a very nice name so um, I would like to do that so I can click that maybe I'll come to do that because I'll need to restart that I'll come to that later so now let's check here I have here download and update only or download your use uh, this so i can do that you can see real time protection that means my firewall is on and then my time zone right you can see is us canada so i can change that click here and then go for change time zone now i'm in ghana okay west africa so when you click down here we don't have ghana west africa accra in here that is one thing microsoft didn't do well at all didn't add what uh, ghana accra here so i'm going to go in for morovia okay this okay now when you're going for casablanca now you can see it's plus one that means the time changes in casablanca okay or you would like to go in for coordinate coordinator or universal time but me it's best you're going for morovia right when you are in ghana precisely so i'll select this so that will to confirm towards my ghanaian time okay so i'll go for okay so let me refresh this right so now let's check here so you can see in the time here is what 5 30 p.m you can see on my local machine to is 5 30 p.m because that is the time i've set for my physical machine so it's going to pick from there right and then now if i would like to assign ip address i only have to click here and then do that when so when i click here to show me my network adapter card when i right click and then go for properties and then here either i'm using ipv4 or ipv6 sorry ipv6 i can assign my ip when i click here now i can assign ip so when i click here as well properties i can assign ip right to my server okay close that now the next thing is i can um, rename my server so i'll click here and then go for change and then uh, the name of the computer so is slv 
0.22-02. So you can see so I'll close then you need to restart now for the name to take effect so i'll have to restart so that uh, the name will take effect okay so as you can see my server has restarted so i'll have to log in as administrator So you can see now uh, let's uh, okay so let's check the name of my server so start server manager okay so when I click on local server so now you can see the name has changed right okay and the time zone too is the same okay all right so these are the basic things so if i would like to maybe uh, change my background right so i can right click and go for personalize now you can see server 2022 is designed against uh, is designed for what uh, windows 11 so you can see the settings icon looks like the windows 11 settings so i can really show you from my real machine so i'm using windows 11 so when i click here and then you can see right the settings uh icon okay you can see it's just the same as the server 2022 okay so when i come here you can see you need to activate windows before what personalized so this server is not activated so I need okay to activate it. so as you can see i cannot change the background right so uh let's look at lockup screen as well because i'm not let's look at team i cannot let me apply team and then let's see you can see even this i cannot apply until what activates uh the server so most of the features uh it's not going to work uh for me so uh if you really want to do changes to your server then you need to activate it then you can apply the changes so thank you for watching the video this is how you will install your server 2016 okay